How's it going guys? I happen to have one of these things that I do around these parts called the picture in picture. I'm going to have the battle right over here. Uh, it's something that I will try to do twice a week now. You know, for sure at least once a week. We'll see what we have going on from there. Uh, but today's game, uh, we'll go ahead and, I don't know, I don't really have any announcements or anything like that. Other than my capture card did finally come in, so I will be able to get this stuff going on for you way quicker. Uh, showdown sessions have nothing to do with that, but, you know, those are probably going to be filling stop caps. And I might start uploading, like, other, you know, 3DS games and stuff like that, like Smash Bros or whatever else I have going on at the time. Definitely going to be Omega Ruby when the time comes. But other than that, uh, I'm open to suggestions. We'll see what we can do. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll go ahead and play this game back for you guys right about now. Okay, so just regular run of the mill UU stuff. You know, UU's always been my favorite tier in Gen 4, Gen 5, and even this Gen 2, for whatever reason, it just, the way stuff tapers off in power just ends up being really satisfying. Cause it's like, wow, it's the next step below OU, so you don't see as much of that crap, but you still see some pretty interesting combination of things. Like this team, I never would have come up with this team on paper, like just looking at it and been like, you know what, I want to bring this to a tournament. No. It looks weird, it's funky, but it's stuff that's used a lot in that tier, and it's like, you know what, we'll just, we'll just run with it. So, looking at his side of the field, I'm only really threatened by probably Diggersby, if it gets an agility or sword stance, whatever variant he is, if I let it get set up. Uh, same thing with probably Delphox, everything else is just, you know, Grand Bull will take it on. Um, table, table, I don't have to worry about table. Okay, moving on. Um, actually starting out. So, lead off with Aerodactyl versus Crocodile. I don't think he really suspects me to be Choice Scarf Crocodile right off the bat. That's normally something you say for, like, revenge killing and stuff like that. So, much to his surprise, I'm just gonna drop him right now with the freaking Stone Edge. And he's dead. That's it. Just... That's it. I, I honestly thought I was gonna have to, like, hit him with another one. I'm not sure whether or not that critical hit mattered, but my Aerodactyl, in, you know, my personal experience, has always been pretty fragile. So, it's kind of what everything. Um... I believe Granville's going to come in for the Intimidate now just to get me back down to neutral. Uh, but the thing is, I'm still hitting him with a neutral Stone Edge. Uh, I'm not sure how defensive this thing was, but it turns out I actually get another crit here. Like I said, I don't know if the first one mattered. This one definitely does, if it's especially if especially if it's you know more of a defensive grand bull than an offensive one uh i'm thinking an offensive one would have been able to take me out so that was probably a purely defensive one um and on top of that i'm not missing any of these you know i thought stone edge was supposed to miss a lot i've lost plenty of games with volcaronas by missing some of that shit and it turns out you know what i'm just i at that point in the game i was like it worked let's yeah yeah, so I, I just kept clicking it and then he brought this thing in after that Which I honestly thought he would have done in the first place just to get the setup off But it's like, you know, what? I'm just I'm just gonna keep going for it I really don't see why not do you know what your do you see how much a plus one stone edge does to a diggers bean? like that's a resisted hit and I just did like half to it and I, All I was doing was sitting there just stone edge stone edge stone edge stone edge and I didn't miss a single one I was like Okay, I'm definitely gonna trip or I'm gonna like break a glass or something later today because some weird luck I have going on But it turns out I actually get instant karma because I do not see Del Fox with Will-O-Wisp Like ever I normally see like sub call mind or I see like switcheroo or you know power of solar beam or whatever the hell it wants to do But I get up a sub thinking he's gonna be scared of sucker punch and the man actually thinks no, I'm just I'm just gonna will you right now before you sub or before you do anything um, it, it technically does get around sucker punch juice. That was a really good play because now I am a burned haunch crow behind a sub This thing is worthless to me at this point just because I don't have any heal bellers or aroma therapy users I'm just gonna go ahead and wail on this thing as much as I can and I mean it's doing like a fourth It would probably be doing a little bit more than that because you know it is a haunch crow It is something that can definitely get a lot of you know damage going on but between life orb brave bird recoil uh rocky helmet and burn i'm gonna be lucky to last one more turn here so i don't actually think i'm even gonna live through all of the effects at the end of this turn i get him down to half i'm pretty sure you can just recover it off i just wanted a safe switch so i hit the rocky helmet recoil right there and i don't get any of the other three but it turns out actually avalanches i'm not sure if that was a misplay or if he just didn't have recover but i let my aggron come in and i look at the bottom screen i'm like shit so i just have to heavy slam stock and pray that it kills it it turns out i'm actually not that much heavier than him and i think he's able to possibly go for an earthquake right here yeah he does and it's times four effective now as opposed to if i megged uh filter would come into play and it would I believe half the damage if i'm not mistaken or like i don't know we cut like a quarter of it off or whatever the health filter does it definitely would have hurt as much as it did on agron especially because i have a defensive buff as well but 
I'm just gonna keep going for heavy slams because a rest talk heavy slam I think ice punch set or something silly like that but you know what I might as well just go for it I'm sorry Agron I failed you we'll we'll be at you in a different game trust me don't worry about that um next up on deck you know I do have my specs Raikou though and I was like well I could go for the extra sensor here to try to pick him off um, I'm thinking he could also go to Diggersby as well, but I think what he ended up doing was just going straight into Dragalge for middle ground, just because he can take a T-Bolt, he can take an HP Ice reasonably well if I want to predict Diggersby. I'm pretty sure he wants to keep Diggersby around, which is why I decided to go into this thing. But look at how much it does, and the fact that it's Specs, that means he's, you know, probably just a little bit more defensively invested than I think he is, especially from the damage off of this Draco Meteor. I thought this would have hurt a lot more, but if you look at how much like actual like that's that's not a lot that's like i've seen like latios decimate teams with that so you know crit kingdra will just wipe the floor with your team if you're not careful with that and that just that did like 40 35 40 percent that wasn't really something i was scared of at all so it's just like i'm just gonna keep two bolting you know i don't have a problem unless he brings this thing in then it becomes a minor problem and then he has toxic orb which although you know i i kind of want to knock it's not that bad because you don't get burned um you don't get put to sleep um you now have a pretty good stab move with huge power so it kind of works out um this thing i believe is gonna get knockoff next generation so i can't really get away with this uh in about a month from now but He's probably got Facade, he's got U-Turn, he's got Earthquake, he's got maybe Sword Stance, Agility, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe Agility makes sense just because you're automatically boosting Facade, but that, I don't know, so, uh, he goes into this thing, I'm just gonna go for Scald, pray I get a burn as well, because otherwise, you know, this will be kind of an uphill struggle against this thing, and I don't get it, so, I forgot, if, do I go for a Shadow Ball here? I forgot what this thing set is. I think it's like something really dumb, like Scald and Willows from like Taunt Recover or something really silly like that. I think I get it on this one, though. There you go. That's my boy. So, uh, he's going to go for T-Bolt. That's absolutely fine by me. You know, I'm a Jellicent. I completely forgot this Pokemon existed for a little bit. Like, I haven't seen... I don't see these things anymore. Are these things like RU or NU? I'm pretty sure they're RU. Uh, turns out he actually doesn't die to the burn either, so I just got... I have to do this again. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, Jellicent, Jellicent kind of got shafted, I guess, by knockoff as well, because it just gets destroyed by it, is what I would assume. But I haven't run into knockoff yet with this thing, so, you know, we're doing alright for now. Not something I really gotta worry about in the immediate future. Anyway, uh, Delphox is gonna come in, go for Shadow Ball. I know I can take it, just because because just because of the amount of hp i'm at um i do not want him call mining though so i would much rather sack this thing and get off as many scalds as i can uh by going for a taunt because i still don't know what the rest of his set is you know it for all i know it could be call mine willow uh no, are you kidding <laughs> no it's probably gonna be willow three attacks to be honest i don't know uh i just don't want him burning anything else so it turns out flamethrower is not going to do a lot to this Meloetta. I forgot if this is my bulky one or if this is my fast one. I think this is honestly my faster one, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and set up a sub. Meloetta's got really good natural bulk. It doesn't look like he has a boosting item or anything like that at all. Um, and I'm just going to start setting up Calm Minds, and that's what this Meloetta does. It's sub Calm Mind with uh, Echoed Voice and Shadow Ball. I actually made it specially for a tournament I went to at uh, UW Campus where you're only allowed to use ghost types and normal types. Which is why I was like, you know what? Echo Voice and Shadow Ball actually doesn't get me terrible coverage. And I think the only real thing that would probably shut it down is like... I don't know. To, to As far as I can think of, that's like perfect coverage. So I, I don't have a problem with that. But uh, you mainly just go for Shadow Ball for things that would switch in on Echo Voice. Otherwise, you just pump up Echo Voice as much as you can. Which is what you know I'm going to proceed to do right now. I just didn't think the second flamethrower was going to be able to break my sub. You know, a little bit of an overestimation on I guess Meloetta's part slash underestimating Delphox. But come on, it, it it couldn't break the I couldn't break the sub stock without any you know special defensive boost on my behalf. So I was just like, well you know what, it's probably kind of weak. So we'll just go with it. Um, I knock him out with that one, and then that's basically just boost fodder right there. So I might as well just keep going for it. And I think because I have speed invested in this thing. I actually just kind of outspeed the rest of his team. I think this was the only thing I was legitimately worried about, you know, outspeeding me. Uh, but it's not going to happen. I just flattened this thing with an echoed voice. Uh, what does he have left? I think he has table. He does have table. So we'll just knock out table by yelling at it. Ah! Anyways, um, is that the game? That's probably the game. If not, he has one more. Uh, I'm looking at the video length. And... Is it... Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so that was the game. Echoed Voice Mellow. I kind of clean it up for me. And uh, yeah, that's what I got going on. I'm probably going to 
get some more later on in the week. Um, I do have a couple recorded. I just felt, you know, the best about that one, which is why I'm giving it to you guys today on this lovely Saturday afternoon. So, if you guys enjoyed this, you can definitely leave a like rating, drop on that, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, do your thing. You know, you know what that consists of by now, hopefully. Um, what do I got going on? I recorded another showdown session. I'll be sure to get to that to you guys as soon as you can. Um, and then I'm just gonna try to coast through this week and see what else I can get going on. Probably one more picture in picture. Get a couple more Wi-Fi battles going. Uh, possibly a stream or two squeaked in there as well. I really want to try out this capture card, see if I can get like a good layout going on for it and stuff. Uh, so keep an eye out for that over the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.